こちらグーム現場より中継中場所は秘密研究施設星の海うわそんなことよりグームの活躍が見たいしょうがないねいつショータイムイベント開催中Hello, hope everyone's doing well. And today we're going to look at the Light Chasing Sea of Stars data mine. So, once again, thank you, big thank you to the data mine team for putting this together. Couldn't do it without you. So, we're going to go over the new ships and the new gear and the event drops. Well, the gear drops for the event maps. We don't have the ships, but probably nothing too crazy. If there is, I'll make a community post. So, first up, we have Guam. I'm a little underwhelmed by her as, you know, one of the only. Large cruise every built and kind of、eh, she's a giant anti air battery, is what she is. Same anti air stat as San Diego, level 125, without her retrofit. So, really good anti air, as you'd expect. Use large cruiser guns and DD guns, they're secondary. Use anti air guns, as you'd expect. Really good efficiency, good mounts. Gets extra AA and hit. And every second type fires secondary guns, buffs her AA. And allied ships whose AA is lower than her. At the time of firing the secondary guns, the second time, it's an AA plus 15% buff. So that's really nice. Yeah, quite like this skill. And her second skill gets less damage taken from planes, which is nice. I wish it was just overall planes, torpedoes, shells, like someone like Breast has, but okay. When she fires her large cruiser gun, so you want to have a large cruiser gun on her. She, it says alternatively, I'm not sure what that means exactly, which gets buffs below. It's a barrier, absorbs 1% of HP for 5 seconds. I wish it was a little bit higher. And then fire special barrage. Like that part of skill. That's pretty good.、But、yeah, a little, little underwhelming there. Wish the barrier was a little more, or she had a heal instead, but okay. And every 15 seconds, fire special barrage. That's nice. At the start of the battle, if the main fleet's top position is occupied by a battleship, battlecruiser, or aviation battleship, when that main fleet ship fires its main guns, apply a special arm break to random enemy unit. So, because it's special, it might stack with other forms of armor break. We'll have to see. I wish she was closer to someone like Reno in terms of her buffs, or she had like an aviation hit reload buff for carriers. But instead, she kind of buffs battleships. So, I'm a little, a little disappointed there. Armor break's still really nice. Always like to have a source of that. And she's your cross fleet buff. When another fleet is engaged in a sortie for the first five battles, It'll probably change a little bit for Opsi. All Union ships gain AA and hit plus 10%. And whenever an enemy gets within 65 range of your flagship, as far as the sporting barrage, I believe it's about where cruiser guns can fire at, maybe a little bit further for secondaries. And just sporting barrage, similar to Ulrich, fire up to five times and it's cool down to five seconds. Overall, not terrible, but nothing too crazy. It's not like someone like A Gear or New Jersey, where it's just like, oh my goodness, this is universally good. Seeing her mostly be useful, well, she can be used obviously throughout the game, but more for Chapter 13 hard mode or 13 if you're not you know, there yet. And then Chapter 15, really useful there. I also thought with the fleet I use for Breast in my mob fleet. Wish she had a heal. I wish she had some kind of carrier buffs. The overall, kind of underwhelmed with her. Art's kind of,、mm, I know people get mad at me, but I'm not a huge fan of her art. Maybe it was just the preview, but her dynamic art was really choppy, and the LCD preview was also very choppy. But that may have been the preview part. So, yeah, not bad. Be very useful for late game stuff. And if you just need a t i e r battery, there you go. Do some AA memes with like her, San Diego, Seattle, or Reno. And you can run Essex, Yorktown 2. And then maybe another Essex or Independence. That's very silly there. But there you go, you can do that. Now, next up, we have Laffy 2. Laffy 2 will be available in the shop, so you do not have to spend cubes to get her. But you know, get event points and then use those to buy different coupons and go to a different shop and get Laffy. So it's a little bit convoluted, but I'll show you when we get to the shop. Yeah, Laffy looks pretty good. Looks nice, solid upgrade. Auto Assault, Weapon Infancy, Torpedo Preload. Have Mount of Tines, Fire Auto Assault, pretty good. Good gun, Torpedo Efficiency. She has summons that summon things will just shoot at things. And then she has a radar that can target up to three enemy units, reducing their AA and aviation by 
and trigger a level 10 special barrage. And at the time of radar marking, every bunny striker afloat, which it can only be two at a time with her, she gives a stack of Fighting Spirit. Every stack gives her plus 2% damage and increases the skill proc chance by 6%. And gets up to max five stacks, so she can get up to 100% chance of proccing her radar scan, which is pretty cool. Now, if she has an EOU equipment, which you know that's that's easy to do, get the special AA weapon, so probably want to run that. And she takes 20% less aviation damage, really good. For every two enemy planes shot down the AA circle, buffs her AA, max three stacks, so get 30% buff there pretty easily. And a stack of fighting spirit, so she has another source of getting fired fighting spirit. As with her summons, when a total of nine enemy planes are shot down, all your main fleet ships, if they're Eagle Union, regenerate their detection bar, which is pretty cool. And if a flagship is an Eagle Union ship, 10 seconds after the effect triggers, just clears their gauge, which is really good. So it helps keep your flagships alive. More survivability provided than Guam kind of does, which is a little sad. And she takes less burn damage. And she has some survivability skills here. So every time she takes damage greater than 10% of current HP from one attack, so if she gets hit really hard, she gains a stack of Fighting Spirit, so another source of that. And that attack's damage will be limited to 10% of her max HP. Sorry, of her current HP. So not max HP for this skill. Current HP. So she can't get one shot is pretty much what it's saying. This damage reduction effect will reach its maximum value once the ship is, is at 25% HP or below. And once she receives Fatal Damage, evade it and generate a barrier that can absorb 50% of the ship's max HP. Make sure once per battle. It will activate before Eagle Union Damage Control Unit. And while the barrier is active, every time the main fleet launches an airstrike, she heals herself for 2% of the max HP. The barrier will removed after five of these heals have been triggered. The overall, I think I like Laffy a bit more than Guam. And she's free, so that's even better. Yeah, Laffy, definitely worth picking up. Uh, what's your sub? Yep, really good. So, I recommend picking up Laffy. Probably first thing you should pick up. Next up is USS Constellation, the Lexington class battlecruiser now she's probably my favorite design out of all of them they're pretty good stats overall uh you can use battleship guns dd guns all american battleships can use dd guns and not seal guns there's a special barrage when she fires her main guns and when she has eagle union equipment equipped she gets 20 percent extra chance so 100 percent chance so if you have an extra georgia gun lying around just slap that bad boy on her and you're good to go it's extra firepower and hit by 20 percent and she deals 10 percent more damage to enemy ships with lower speed than herself so, and she's got a decent amount of speed. Not going to be smacking around a lot of the cruisers, especially not destroyers, but battleships. Some carriers are going to get hit with that extra buff. So that's nice. I see Constellation more of a hard mode requirement filler, and she seems to be pretty decent for that. Pretty solid. Pair with like West Virginia or something like that, and you'll be good to go. Yeah, I quite like her, especially her design. And then just hard mode requirements seem to be fulfilled with her. That's pretty nice. Next up is the submarine flasher. Good old little sub. Don't make her cry. Pretty standard submarine stuff. She debuffs the enemy, which hits them with torpedoes. When one hit happens, she debuffs her speed by 30% for four seconds. And if a same torpedo hits, she triggers a special barrage, which is cool. And they also increases the ship's damage against that enemy by 30% for 10 seconds. So she can combo herself pretty well, which is really nice. And then torpedo hunting range, or sorry, hunting range, just that. Pretty good to crit rate and then 10 percent extra damage versus light armor enemies Union didn't have that before so it's nice to have that it was always either heavy or carriers and if she's the lead ship aka the flagship or if there are other gato class submarines in the fleet all the gato class submarines get extra 10 percent firepower 10 percent torpedo and hit so i'm thinking she'll be replacing albacore and the standard fleet setup for eagle union submarine fleets definitely grab flasher while you can if you don't have, well, regardless, and if you don't have someone like Archerfish, you can still get Kavala and Albacore fairly easily. Then you have Alien Submarine Fleet. So there you go. Good option right now that is available. Obviously, once the event's over, Flash will be no longer available. Then you have to wait for them either add a new one or Archerfish to get added to War Archives. Next up, we have Louisville, the Northampton class heavy cruiser. Unfortunately, she does suffer the fate of being an elite, so probably not going to be your best option, but she is an option you can use, maybe as an off-tank. And she likes to be around carriers like carriers in Northampton class. So the start of the battle, and when the ship's HP drops below 50%, you get to shield, things are up to 8% of the ship's max HP, that's pretty good. And then makes your Northampton class and your CVs and CVLs take 10% less damage, so that's nice. That should apply to herself as well. And every 20 seconds, 6% chance to fire a special barrage. If the barrage fails to proc, gets extra evasion, so more survivability. Thinking more of an off tank type role. And use her, you know, boss fleet, mob fleet, wherever you want. But yeah, unfortunately, I think just 
just you have so many other options right now but user if you're running a bunch of carriers not sure how many other northampton class cruisers you're gonna be running but there you go do that too and to wrap up the ships we have san jacinto the independence class light carrier overall nothing to stand out about her she has an asw niche which is nice she can detect submarines and launch an airstrike on them you want to run a eagle union plane on her so just like a hellcat or something you'll be good to go and she's a heal that could kill 15 percent across the battle and nothing too crazy here um just run her sister independence instead a lot better unfortunately but if you like her go ahead and get her now time for the milestone for point accumulation in the event shop so standard stuff you can get louisville here and then for the shops, priority wise, you see there's two shops. You can buy these vouchers to buy Laffy. And so it's a set shop for Laffy. I'm unsure which one to say first. You should definitely get both of them. But the vouchers for Laffy and the gun for Guam or for any large cruiser, it's probably the best in slot. It has the best modifiers for medium and heavy out of any of the large cruiser guns, so that's really nice. And it's got the best, you know, buff for firepower, that's really nice. After that, the DR prints and PR prints, cognitive arrays. I'm not too sure about this plane. It's ASW plane, so if you have the stuff, grab it. You know, if you don't have one, or if you don't want to grab one from the core data shop, and you want to save your stuff, or don't want to make one in the gear lab, you can get that there. Not too much use for them, but you can use them on light carriers and or spite yeah pretty standard stuff grab laffy because she's free and she's you are you get two copies of her and grab the guam gun and if you didn't get flasher towards the end of the event grab flasher now i haven't seen the ship drop table for the maps but we do have the gear drops overall pretty solid stuff barracuda is nice as a parallel torpedo bomber general purpose i like using it really good dd gun has an nice aa as a secondary too and then the roomba pretty solid aa gun hellcat pretty solid fighter so yeah overall, overall pretty solid stuff and aviation oil tank's not bad fire control radar's not bad we'll get the repair toolkit from d2 so d3 first d2 second so probably d3 first in terms of priority for farming d2 c3 is pretty good for gear in terms of that a uh dd gun and then c2 but you can get these two elsewhere so i'd probably do d3 just for the most points you can get flasher probably has the better of the i know i've had nelson a lot in the event drop ships so maybe she'll be there you can get a retrofit it's pretty cool so wrap things up overall should you pull kind of torn because like guam really good for late game content probably be pretty decent getting up there just a little underwhelming compared to what i was hoping she'd be i also had very high hopes so maybe alaska or if they do like dr hawaii will fulfill those hopes definitely grind for laffy probably the best ship in this event after that flasher constellation but once again thank you to the data mine team for putting this together and hope you found it useful if you did share it with someone else thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time Bye-bye.